What's up guys, I'm Xavier Elon. I do the Hacker Brain Link Code Solutions. Still working on the Java data structures. I'm gonna try to finish the data structures up by the end of the week, hopefully, and then I can move on to actual like interview problems that we actually see in like the technical interviews. Those are a little bit tougher. I just wanted to refresh my memory with all the data structures because it's important. So I'm doing Java 1D Array part two. So we're just playing a game here where Standing at index zero of an n element, na n element array named game, and you can either move backwards if cell i minus one exists and contains a zero, you can walk back, or you can move forward i plus one if it contains a zero, or you can do a leap i plus leap contains a zero, um, and you finish and you win the game if you get past n minus one. So it's basically saying if you get past the last part, you basically out of bounds of the array. Um, and you can do, you have to, you can try any combination of these three to reach that, but you're given the, <clears throat> so the first line contains an integer Q. This is a little complicated, it took me a while to understand it, which is the number of queries, so number of queries, and then these, the, this line is contains two integers. The first is the number of elements in the array, so n, and then this is the number of how far we can leap. So we're gonna start at zero, I believe, every time. Yeah, so it's always zero, but if you land on a one, we have to reach the array, and you can't jump on any ones. So we're gonna use a recursive solution, basically. Most of it's already written out, so all this one's going to do is, so we're going to use recursion. I'm going to write uh, another function. So we're going to pass in leap, gain, zero. So, public static boolean is solvable. And leap, and boolean. Oops. And I. So uh, the first thing we want to check is if I is equal or greater than game dot length. So if we're already at the end of the array, past the end of the array. So we're checking game.length. So the game.length is going to return 5. So if i, which is the index, it's 0 index, if it's greater or equal to 5, that means we're going to be at the fifth index, which is would be right after this 0, meaning we're out of bounds. So in that case, we won the game. So return true. <coughs> Else if. I is less than zero, or in I equals one, return false. So if um, we're out of bounds on uh, this way, we went too far back, we lose. <coughs> and if we leap into a one, uh, we lose as well. So, and then we're going to, as we, we're going to change the, anytime we land on a zero, we're going to also update it to a one, so we can't go back, so. And then here's the recursive part. So I'm going to try and solve, uh, explain this as best as I can. Let me just write it out first. So the first one is going to be the leap. So we're going to have i plus leap. Or we can have oh, the uh, I plus one 
or we can have the backwards one. So let me try and explain this. Um, so say we start at zero. Um, we're gonna, it's not greater than game wave, so, wait, so we're not here. Um, it's not less than zero, and we're not at a one, so we don't return false. But we are gonna update it to one. So this will become a one, and then we're going to call the first recursive function. So we're going to do a leap. So we're going to leap three, so one, two, three, and then we're going, so we call this function again, it's still not greater than game length, but we're going to, we're also not less than zero and we're not at one, so we're not going to return false, but we're going to update it to a one, so this becomes a one, and then we call the leap is solvable function again, so, and then we're going to be past game dot length because we're out of bounds. So let's see, one that doesn't work, uh, this one apparently doesn't work, so let's see, so we're going to call the leap, so we're going to go one, two, three, we're at a one, so we're not greater than either, uh, but we are, it is, we landed on a one, so we're going to return a false, um, even if, so, one, two, three. There's no way, even if we got here by going I minus, calling I minus one multiple times, we can't, we're still gonna, one, two, three, we're still gonna land on a one. Um, there's no way to win that game. And same goes for this one. You can't, the, the highest is a leap of one. So you're never gonna get past the one. We're gonna update this to one land on a one and even if we go backwards it's still a one so we can't do that so there's no solution to that so let's see if this code works yep all right perfect i'll see you guys in the next video